Uh, before we start, I, I want you to pay attention to this plaque, which explains that contrary to what people think, New York was not founded by the Dutch, excuse me. In, in 1524, there was a ship, La Dauphine, sent by Francis I, and he saw for the first time Manhattan. So, uh, this was the house of uh, Charles Mitchell, as I was saying, who was the president of the National City Bank, a very wealthy man. The French government bought this building in 1942. It's the government of Vichy who bought it. We have, of course, wonderful piece, piece of uh, art in this, uh, in this house. And I like particularly this one. This is painted by a lady, a lady painter, Henriette Logier. It's called L'Enfant Reconnaissant, The Grateful Child. This is the chapel room, which was a major salon of the Mitchell family. The, um, this is a tapestry from Bruxelles, a Flemish tapestry. The official dining room of, of Mrs. Mitchell. I told you she was a great melloman. She loved music, so she invited, she, be, she befriended Fritz Kreisler. She invited uh, Gershwin, who came regularly. The most beautiful piece, of course, which uh, is the Le Triomphe de Mardoché. Uh, this is a gobelin tapestry from uh, 1757. You have this uh, magnificent candelabra with 57 lights. And this is a, um, a Baccarat. The first Consul General in New York uh, has been appointed by King Louis XVI in 1783. We are very lucky to have now, many years later, the first Lady Consul General. the very first one to, to enter and visit the consulate and it's a great privilege for us to see so many New Yorkers uh, interested and curious uh, about this building. As you know, uh, a consulate uh, has two missions. Uh, we have to take care of our French community and we have uh, 80,000 French people living in New York City and in Connecticut, New Jersey and the Bermuda. So this building is about you know, showing everything about France uh, from culture, from gastronomy, from wines to uh, economy, business, innovation. In front of me, you have a, uh, a representative of the French art of the 21st century. Uh, this is J.R. Him is a very famous street artist. He has made this uh, mural that was a little bit polemical and I was covered in the New York Times. You know, this child looking over uh, the wall uh, on the Mexican-American uh, border. And he has been doing a lot of murals also in New York City. Well, the rooms are beautiful, but meeting the, the Council General was fantastic and unique and, and unexpected, and, it, and very warm, personable. Actually, someone in an antique shop told me about it because he said how beautiful the building was. And um, we, we've always wanted to see, we've walked by the French Embassy many times. So I think that um, the relationship between France and the U.S. has been so important throughout history. From that point of view, it's, it's important, but also just architecturally, I think to see all of these uh, amazing details that have survived over all these years is, is great. 